Hey guys, what's up, Bob here. Today I am going to talk about Unity and how I tweak my Unity to look the way it does. So you want to load up your Compass Settings Manager. If you don't have it, go to Ubuntu Software Center and search CCSM. CCSM. And it's right there. And just click Install. Okay, so when you get it up, you want to go to Ubuntu Unity Plugin. Go to experimental. Well, actually, I start here. The way I have it, I have it on auto hide. You can have it to never, but it kind of hides your desktop space on your thing. So, like on auto hide. When you first get it, it's on dodge windows. So when you put it that way, it hides. I like to always be hidden, so keep it like that. Then I have it set to super to show the launcher. So when I push the super key, the which is the Windows key, it shows the d dashboard launcher thingy. Then in experimental, I have backlights always off. Let me turn that on so it's easy to show it. Okay. When you have backlights always on, it shows the backlight on it. Backlight toggles. Backlight toggles means it shows when it's on, when, when it's running. I have, it, I have it always off because I can still see if it's running for a little icon on the side little white dot thing and this wiggle thing the, uh, the origin um, annotation I never saw it do anything so I don't know what, what it really is for but I'm guessing it's for like your update manager you get an update it pops up I never saw it and launch annotation like lots of like click on Chrome will flash until it's done loading up. So yeah. And fade only. I don't know. Let's see. Auto hide. That's just the way it appears. Fade only looks better. Then there's no blur and static blur blur. Which I really don't know what it does. Because static blur looks the same. No blur. Looks the same. So if you know what this does, leave a comment. Because I have no idea what it does. But yep, that's it for this Unity tip or tweak guide. Peace.